live in Anaheim, California for the Elimination Chamber. But tonight, Monday Night Raw comes to you from Minneapolis, Minnesota, where we will witness not one, but two Mega Main Events Plus Women's Elimination Chamber Match Qualifiers begin right here tonight in Minneapolis. Tonight in your main event, the WWE Champion, the Apex Predator Randy Orton, set to go one-on-one -on -one with one half of the former World Tag Team Champions, Dominic Dijakovic. Damian Priest, Dijakovic's tag team partner, took Orton to the limit a few weeks ago. Tonight, Dijakovic gets his chance. It's Dijakovic versus Orton tonight on Raw. But we kick things off tonight with a mega attraction, a co-main event opening your way. It is the winner of the 2023 Royal Rumble matchup here on Raw for the first time since Toronto, the original bro, Matt Riddle. Riddle set for action against Dijakovic's tag team partner, Damian Priest. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada. Weighing in at 216 pounds, Riddle. Well, it was eight nights ago in Toronto where this man, Matt Riddle, at number 27, outlasted the rest of the field and won the 2023 Royal Rumble matchup. Riddle is going to WrestleMania to fight the WWE Champion, whether that be his old tag team partner, Randy Orton, or the man Orton defends the gold against in less than two weeks at the Elimination Chamber, Rob Van Dam. Riddle has punched his ticket to the WrestleMania main event, but tonight he's got his hands full with the Archer of Infamy and one of the final three men in the Royal Rumble matchup a few weeks ago. Damian Priest has got a score to settle with Riddle after eliminating him from the Rumble match. Tonight he gets his chance to prove himself yet again. Priest, Riddle, what a way to kick off Raw. And his opponent from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Remember back at the Royal Rumble eight nights ago, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic losing their World Tag Team Championships to the new champs DIY, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. But less than an hour later, Damian Priest found himself in one of the final three men in the Royal Rumble matchup, but was unfortunately eliminated by the winner, Matt Riddle. So tonight for Damian Priest, looking to get back on track. We mentioned earlier, it was just a few weeks ago on Raw, where that man, Damian Priest, in the midst of a pick your poison, took the WWE Champion, Randy Orton, to the limit. Dijakovic gets his opportunity against the Apex Predator later on, but Damian Priest now going head-to-head -head with the man who will fight the WWE Champion, whether that be Randy Orton or Rob Van Dam at WrestleMania. Matt Riddle, a big-time matchup here to kick us off from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Thank you for tuning in to Monday Night Raw. Let's get things going here tonight. And still to come tonight, as we mentioned, we will begin the Women's Elimination Chamber qualifying matches and the winner of the Elimination Chamber match in less than two weeks in Anaheim is going to fight either Asuka or Tegan Knox for the Women's Championship at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. A lot riding on the line these next couple of weeks leading into the Elimination Chamber as the road to WrestleMania continues. And for right now, Damian Priest, it's about building momentum. And really, a win over Matt Riddle could easily put Damian Priest in the conversation for a future WWE Championship matchup whether that be before or after WrestleMania. Regardless, a lot of momentum riding on the line for the Archer tonight, but Riddle looking to keep his momentum going. Matt Riddle picked up a victory two weeks ago here on Raw against the prize fighter Kevin Owens. Rode that momentum high into the Royal Rumble matchup eight nights ago in Toronto. Matt Riddle entered number 27. The final four saw Riddle, Rob Van Dam, Priest, and SmackDown, Shinsuke Nakamura. Matt Riddle, however, the last man standing. As we mentioned, it will be Randy Orton defending the WWE Championship. I guess the number one contender who we found out last week will be Rob Van Dam. Those two men will meet on January 22nd in Anaheim at the Elimination Chamber. And the winner of that matchup defends against the man in the black and green at WrestleMania. And Riddle looking to pick up a victory right now, but Priest gets the shoulder up. So to come tonight, the WWE Champion Randy Orton in action for the first time since successfully defending his gold against AJ Styles at the Royal Rumble. Orton one-on-one -on -one with the Damian Priest tag team partner, Dominic Dijakovic. 
Double main event here on Raw tonight. We're kicking off with one of them as Priest. Joke slam sits out with it early on in the matchup. And the Archer not trying to waste any time. Wants the victory. He is hungry tonight, but Riddle has got a lot of momentum in his corner right now. Able to get the shoulder up, but he tackles down Damian Priest. Priest throwing one of his best offensive maneuvers at the original bro. Early on in this matchup, however, look at Riddle starting to unload. And into the cover by the original bro. Yet again, but Priest gets the shoulder up. I'm sure Matt Riddle would love to get his hands on Randy Orton yet again at WrestleMania for the WWE Championship. But on the other hand, remember who was in the final two men with Riddle at the Royal Rumble. That is the number one contender, Rob Van Dam, the Hall of Famer, the former WWE Champion. It very well may be Rob Van Dam locking horns with Matt Riddle yet again in the main event of WrestleMania. We'll decide that in less than two weeks at the Elimination Chamber, but right now Riddle taking Priest for a ride off the top rope of the Superplex. A big move by the Royal Rumble winner. Got to follow up here. Priest is down and he follows it up with that senton or broton, if you will. Now, heading to the top rope. Riddle could be looking for that elevated broton and he hits it. And Damian Priest has got to excuse me, have the wind knocked out of him right now. Priest gets the shoulder up as Monday Night Raw rolls on from Minneapolis, Minnesota. The road to WrestleMania is in full gear here tonight. And as we've been talking about all night long, the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, Sunday night, January the 22nd, less than two weeks away, 5 p.m. Eastern time, the Elimination Chamber. Not one, but two Elimination Chamber matches will be on that card. One of them we're going to start finding out participants for here tonight, that being the Women's Elimination Chamber matchup, where the winner will decide or excuse me, the winner will face the women's champion, whoever that may be, at WrestleMania. Of course, the women's title will be decided at Elimination Chamber as well when the champion Asuka defends against the new number one contender, Tegan Knox. A lot of WrestleMania momentum is on the line these next couple of weeks. Focusing back on the action inside of the ring right now, Priest trying to get back into this thing, but Riddle's having none of it. Damian Priest trying to bounce back after Technically two losses eight nights ago in Toronto at the Rumble. Riddle, on the other hand, wants to keep his momentum going. Nice kick there by the Royal Rumble match winner. And now, oh no, Damian Priest. This could spell the end of his night as he goes crashing into the canvas. And the original bro keeping his momentum going following the Royal Rumble. A great matchup, a competitive matchup to kick us off here in Minneapolis tonight. With the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner Riddle pick up the victory in the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest back to his feet. And it looks like we're going to see a little sign of respect here. You love to see it between these two incredible athletes. Damian Priest, not a sore loser, giving his respect to the winner. But that man, the original bro, is full steam ahead on the road to WrestleMania. What is time to determine your first participant in the Women's Elimination Chamber matchup in less than two weeks in Anaheim. Liv Morgan set to take on the former Women's Champion Shotzi in her first battle since losing the gold eight nights ago in Toronto at the Royal Rumble. This is your first of six Elimination Chamber qualifying matches that will take place the next few weeks here on Monday Night Raw. And here comes Liv Morgan's opposer tonight. As we mentioned, the former Women's Champion of the World in action for the first time since the Royal Rumble, the ballsy badass rides the TCB all the way to the ring. From Oakland, California, Shotzi. It was a disappointing loss for the ballsy badass eight nights ago in Toronto, but nothing to lose for Shotzi here tonight and everything to gain with an Elimination Chamber qualifying spot on the line. Shotzi and Asuka were battling out for damn near six months in the WWE over the Women's Championship, and unfortunately, in their final encounter, Asuka got the better of the ballsy badass at the Royal Rumble. And Shotzi, she's not going to give up. We have watched her get better and better over the last year here in the WWE. Now with two Women's Championship reigns already under her belt, looking to possibly punch her ticket for a third and punch her ticket to WrestleMania. If Shotzi 
qualifies for the Royal Rumble all year. Yeah, we're talking about a lot of hypotheticals here, but if Shotzi qualifies for the Elimination Chamber matchup and wins the Elimination Chamber match in less than two weeks in Anaheim, on the other hand, Asuka, if she retains the Women's Championship, we very well could get one more meeting between Asuka and Shotzi at WrestleMania. And I'm sure Shotzi would love nothing more than to run it back with the Empress of Tomorrow, the woman she has been at war with over the last six months at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Maybe get a little over ahead of ourselves here. We're talking hypotheticals, but nonetheless, it's Liv Morgan, Shotzi. Only one of these women will be one of the six inside the Elimination Chamber in Anaheim. Monday Night Raw from Minneapolis rolls on. The bell has sounded and we are underway. Liv Morgan right off the bat sees the opportunity at hand here tonight. Takes the fight to Shotzi, but we know how tough Shotzi is. She has gone to war, as we mentioned with Asuka, on multiple occasions. She has been the women's champion just as recently as eight nights ago at the Royal Rumble. But our first match since tapping out to Asuka's Asuka lock at the Suscosha Bank Arena just eight nights ago. How is Shotzi's mental game heading into this Elimination Chamber qualifying match. She's got to be focused on the opportunity at hand. Hopefully is not still reeling in her mind over the loss at the Rumble. But if she is, however, Liv Morgan absolutely, you got to say, would have the advantage and is going to be able to take advantage of a weakened Shotzi. Back and forth we go here in the opening moments of this contest. Now look at this, look at Shotzi. Going for a submission hold here. If there's one thing Shotzi might have picked up in all those wars with Asuka, it's variations of submission holds. And she's got Liv all tied up here. And Liv Morgan with the elbow. Liv Morgan along with Alexa Bliss had a couple of opportunities become, to become, excuse me, the women's tag team champions over the last few months. Unfortunately, not able to do so. This is Liv's first matchup since the number one contenders tag team match back at Saturday night's main event last month. On her own tonight, no Alexa Bliss in her corner. Will Liv Morgan be able to make a name for herself on her own yet again? And Shotzi, however, just trying to bounce back from the Rumble. One of six participants in the Women's Elimination Chamber match to be determined right now. The field is going to fall before our eyes these next number of weeks. In less than two weeks, Sunday night, January the 22nd, in Anaheim, California, we will determine the number one contender for the Women's Championship at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And whoever that woman is, is absolutely going to earn it inside the confines of the chamber. Shotzi is unloading right now. The ballsy badass coming unglued. She's got to be motivated tonight. Looking to bounce back and is tearing things up against Liv Morgan right now. Now look at this. The badass is going to the top rope. Shotzi going for the elbow drop here, but Liv gets out of the way. Liv Morgan trying to battle back, trying to take advantage of Shotzi, who may not be 100% tonight, both mentally and physically after the Royal Rumble. And now Liv with an elbow drop of her own, and it lands flush. It may have just punched her ticket to Anaheim, not just yet as Shotzi gets the shoulder up. Liv Morgan lying away here, but she's got to attack on the former women's champion. Shotzi has really gained a lot of big match experience just in the last six months here in the WWE with her championship match all the way back in June versus Bianca Belair at SummerSlam. Multiple contests against Asuka. Shotzi gets more and more experience in the big match situation. And in situations like this, it's going to favor Liv Morgan not capitalizing there. And Shotzi is able to take advantage. Look at this. A slight spread by the ballsy badass. Into the cover she goes. Up the turnbuckles. Down to the canvas. Is that all? Not just yet. Liv gets the shoulder up, lives to fight another moment in this Elimination Chamber qualifier. But wait a minute, Shotzi's going up, could be looking for that coffin drop on Shotzi. Or excuse me, on Liv Morgan by the badass into the cover, and Shotzi is going to the Elimination Chamber. Well, only fitting that the former women's champion is the first to punch her ticket to Anaheim, California on January 22nd. Will the former women's champion be the one Punching her ticket to the grandest stage of them all. We're going to find out Sunday night, January the 22nd, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at the Elimination Chamber.
Well, the Elimination Chamber qualifying matches continue here tonight with not one but two contests. Bailey from Damage Control takes on Soraya Plus. The Nightmare Rhea Ripley goes one on one with Casey Catanzaro. And those results of the Elimination Chamber qualifying matches see Bailey moving on to Anaheim, California. Plus, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley will be one of six women inside the Elimination Chamber. We are back live here on Monday Night Raw in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and the Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne set the lock horns with the Irish ace, Jordan Devlin. Here comes the Bruiserweight. And his opponent from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Bruiserweight. The Bruiserweight Pete Dunne began his second reign with the Intercontinental Championship back on December the 7th in Madison Square Garden at Monday Night Raw Homecoming. Since then he has picked up a victory over Cedric Alexander and was a participant in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. They have came up short in Toronto eight nights ago, but Pete Dunne still walking around the Monday Night Raw locker room with some hardware, being the Intercontinental Champion. And Pete Dunne right now, as the Intercontinental Champion, is looking for his road to WrestleMania. Who's going to step up next and fight the Bruiserweight for the gold he holds in his very hands? All that to be determined, but it could be the Irish ace Jordan Devlin earning himself an opportunity here tonight. Going one-on-one -on -one with the Intercontinental Champion. You defeat the champion, you got to earn yourself a title matchup. Could be a breakout performance for Jordan Devlin here tonight. Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne, a lot of big matches in 2022, making his main roster debut back in April at Backlash. We saw him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Drew McIntyre and Sheamus and Tommaso Ciampa. Pete Dunne has wrestled with the best of them in there and found himself with not one, but two Intercontinental Championship reigns by year end. Now with 2023, our second Monday Night Raw of the year, Pete Dunne looking to kick off the year with a bang here tonight here on Monday Night Raw in Minneapolis. Jordan Devlin's taking the fight to the Bruiser. Wait since the opening bell and send them to the outside. Big opportunity for that young man here tonight. Former NXT competitor now here on Monday Night Raw since the WWE draft has picked up a couple of losses over the last few months, but now with this matchup against the champion here tonight, every opportunity inside that ring is a chance to raise your stock here on Monday Night Raw. Devlin's got to take opportunity to its fullest here tonight. Look at this, Pete Dunne not having none of it. Nice monkey flip there on the Irish ace. Now the Intercontinental Champion. Devlin cannot let Pete Dunne start to beat him down limb by limb, body part by body part in this contest as he avoids the stomp right there. Now look at this, Devlin in control. What a slam taking down the Intercontinental Champion. A simple but effective maneuver by the ace. And it's maneuvers like that that's going to get Jordan Devlin the biggest win of his main roster career. And her stay on the fight, though. The Intercontinental Champion, Pete Dunne, has been in there with the toughest of the last year. Alone here on the main roster. And is not going to look slow down anytime soon. Devlin got his eggs scrambled back there. Now Pete Dunne working on the Irish Ace. Couple of forearms to the back by the Intercontinental Champion. Pete Dunne looking to kick 2023 off with a bang. What is going to be the Bruiserweight's road to WrestleMania? Everyone's going to be looking to step up for an opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship, especially since the WWE Championship of Monday Night Raw has kind of already been determined for WrestleMania with Matt Riddle punching his ticket and either Randy Orton or Rob Van Dam going to be standing across the ring from him. So in that case, it leaves the Intercontinental Championship wide open for the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And now Pete Dunne, forearm to the Irish Ace, could be looking for that pump handle slam. The Bruiserweight sending Jordan Devlin to a bitter end. And there it is. For the Irish Ace, Jordan Devlin giving his most to this opportunity tonight. But the Intercontinental Champion is riding a high right now that I don't know if anybody is going to be able to knock down. Pete Dunne with a big time victory tonight in Minneapolis, Minnesota on Monday Night Raw. Here is your winner, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Hey, whoa, 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 
wait a minute. Karrion Cross, the undefeated Karrion Cross is in the ring. And he's attacking Pete Dunne, our mandible claw, the Intercontinental Champion. Pete Dunne is rocked right now. I guess Karrion Cross making his presence felt. He's coming for the Intercontinental Championship. He's got his eyes locked on the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Well, next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 22nd, 2023. Less than two weeks away, 5 p.m. Eastern time from Anaheim, California, the Elimination Chamber. And as we've been talking about all night long, the Women's Elimination Chamber matchup already qualified. Rhea Ripley, Shotzi, and Bailey. Three more spots available. Who will fight the Women's Champion of the World at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania? And who will be the women's champion come WrestleMania? That'll be determined in less than two weeks in Anaheim when the champion, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, puts the title on the line versus the new number one contender, Tegan Knox. The SmackDown main event determined this past Friday night. The World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as new number one contender, the show-off, Dolph Ziggler, goes one-on-one -on -one with the visionary, Seth Rollins, a score to settle there for the World Heavyweight Gold. In the Monday Night Raw main event, also already determined, Rob Van Dam won the ladder match against Austin Theory last week, and he rolls into Anaheim versus the Apex Predator, the Viper, the legend killer Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. All that and more coming your way Sunday night, January the 2nd at 5 p.m. Eastern time, right here on the Nomination Gaming YouTube channel at the Elimination Chamber. But it is time for your main event from Minneapolis here on Monday Night Raw. The champion is in the house. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 250 pounds. The WWE Champion, The Viper, Randy Orton. Randy Orton has been on, been on a path of destruction for months here in the WWE. He won that WWE Championship back on Thanksgiving night in a Hell in a Cell match at Survivor Series versus Edge. He has already retained the gold over Austin Theory at Raw Homecoming and most recently eight nights ago in Toronto at the Royal Rumble against the phenomenal AJ Styles. Randy Orton's next meeting for the WWE Championship also already determined. Mr. Monday Night, the whole damn show, the Hall of Famer, the former WWE Champion, and a man who once had Randy Orton kick him so hard in the head that RVD disappeared for years from the WWE. Rob Van Dam rekindles an old rivalry with that man, Randy Orton, in less than two weeks at the Elimination Chamber, a matchup that will decide who, defi who defends excuse me, the WWE Championship against Royal Rumble match winner Matt Riddle at WrestleMania. But that is then, this is now, Orton set for a main event bout against Dominic Dijakovic. Feast your eyes. This is gonna be one hell of a main event from Minnesota. And his opponent from Kingsboro, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dominic Dijakovic. The rare breed, Dominic Dijakovic, as we mentioned earlier tonight, himself along with Damian Priest losing the World Tag Team Championships at the Royal Rumble to Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. The rare breed, Dijakovic, entered at number two in the Royal Rumble matchup, lasted almost 20 minutes in there. An impressive night eight nights ago for Dijakovic. And now he gets the opportunity that Damian Priest got a few weeks ago here on Raw to take the WWE Champion Randy Orton to the limit and possibly have a different outcome than his tag team partner did. Imagine what it will do for the career of Dijakovic if he can hand Randy Orton his first loss in over five months here in the WWE. Especially on the road to WrestleMania, so much momentum is riding on the line each and every time that bell sounds. It is time for your Monday Night Raw main event from Minneapolis, the WWE Champion versus the Rare Breed. And Orton taking the fight to Dijakovic right off the bell. Orton not looking to come up short on the road to the Elimination Chamber. 
where he will defend, excuse me, the WWE Championship against Rob Van Dam. He was at home this week after a grueling ladder matchup versus Austin Theory last week here on Monday Night Raw. I'm sure the whole damn show, Mr. Monday Night has got his eyes locked on this encounter between Orton and Dijakovic. And feast your eyes. He's about to go for that splash where Randy Orton sidestepped it. WWE Champion, ever since he turned his back on Matt Riddle, the Royal Rumble match winner all those months ago, has been on an undefeated streak, has been on a path of destruction here in the WWE. Remember in the spring and the summer, Randy Orton ran through all four members of the group formerly known as the Hurt Business. Randy Orton defeated Matt Riddle back in Extreme Rules in their one and only meeting. Orton defeated Drew McIntyre and Mustafa Ali in the WWE Championship Eliminator. John Cena the next night on Monday Night Raw, which all led him to Survivor Series to defeat Edge inside Hell in a Cell to become the WWE Champion. And as we mentioned earlier, two successful championship reigns already in the book for the Apex Predator against Austin Theory back on December the 7th at Raw Homecoming in MSG and then eight nights ago in Scotia Bank in Toronto against AJ Styles. And right now, Randy Orton just taking a moment to breathe as Dijakovic trying to get his wits about him on the outside of the ring. Orton don't give a damn how he wins this matchup. He just wants to keep his win winning streak and momentum going. What an uppercut there by Dijakovic. And Randy Orton also participated, as we mentioned, in a contest at the Royal Rumble, but Dijakovic was in there for quite some time in the Rumble matchup after already participating in the World Tag Team Championship affair. So you gotta wonder the condition of the rare breed, Dominic Dijakovic heading into this matchup tonight, but ain't nothing gonna keep that man from trying to capitalize on the opportunity that's in front of him. We talked about it earlier tonight when Damian Priest was in there with Matt Riddle. But wait a minute, Dijakovic, gotta cut ourselves off here. The big man's heading to the top rope, but Randy Orton's getting to his feet. We talked about it earlier tonight, he, Damian Priest, if he were to defeat Matt Riddle, how that could have possibly put him in line for a WWE Championship match in the future. Of course, Matt Riddle, the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner, walking out with the victory earlier tonight. But the same goes for Dijakovic. If he could defeat the WWE Champion, Randy Orton, that very well might award Dijakovic a WWE Championship matchup prior to WrestleMania, which could completely change the landscape of the WrestleMania main event. And he's trying to do that here. Dijakovic, what a corkscrew moonsault from the top rope. The agility of the big man like no other here in the WWE. And all know, if he hits this, it's going to be all zero. Feast your eyes on the WWE Champion. Orton's out. Orton's out. Dijakovic with the win, not just yet. Randy Orton getting hit with a maneuver that would keep any normal man down, but the WWE Champion celebrating 21 years here in the WWE as rough and tough and dominant as they come. Dijakovic not able to put Orton away yet, but making the right decision there to stay on the offense. And that spinning corkscrew from the top row followed up with the feast your eyes. Not enough to keep Orton down. Now the WWE Champion not wasting any time has got Dijakovic in position for that elevated DDT from the second row. And what a main event here in Minneapolis tonight on Monday Night Raw. Less than two weeks from the Elimination Chamber on the road to WrestleMania. Dijakovic's not done yet. Grabbing a hold of Randy Orton, slamming him down on the canvas. He knows the opportunity at hand. He's not looking to see it pass through his fingers tonight. Orton bouncing back with a drop kick. Takes the bigger competitor off his feet. Dijakovic so strong, so tall, so agile inside of that ring. A full package when it comes to a competitor inside of that ring. But Randy Orton very well may be the same. Hence the reason he's the WWE Champion. Dijakovic, nice maneuver there, nice counter. Orton may be in trouble. Dijakovic hit that feast your eyes. And you know, Orton being as tough as he is, plus a little early on in the matchup, I think credit to how Orton was able to survive. But at the end of the day, if Dijakovic continues the offense he's hitting right now and possibly hits another feast your eyes on Orton, that's going to be all she wrote. And the rare breed is going to be picking up the biggest win of his career here in the WWE. Wait a minute, Dijakovic is on the outside of the ring. No chance in hell. He just hit Randy Orton with his own move on the outside of the ring. 
and RKO on the outskirts of the squared circle. Dijakovic is stomping away on the WWE Champion. This man has come unhinged here tonight in Minneapolis. He wants the victory over the WWE Champion by any means necessary. You know, it's funny, Dijakovic was hit with his own move, the Feast Your Eyes by Johnny Gargano in the World Tag Team title match at the Rumble. And that was the closing moments that awarded DIY the gold. Dijakovic almost taking a page and taking some notes out of that matchup and used it on Randy Orton with the RKO. Nonetheless, we are back inside of the ring. Orton has found himself back in the driver's seat. Dijakovic is down in a knee right to the head of the rare breed. Orton is coming unglued right now. I don't think Orton appreciated being hit with his own move, the RKO on the outside of the ring. No one's going to hit it as good as the master of that maneuver, the WWE Champion. But nonetheless, the damage has got to be done right now. We're going to whip it off. Dijakovic could have been going for that vintage slam. Dijakovic says otherwise. Springboard moves on the WWE Champion. Oh man, he's rolling, but he's got to stay on the offense. Orton, look at this, grabbing a hold of his opponent here tonight. And has got him hanging in the balance yet again for the second time in the matchup. Crushing Dijakovic with that DDT. And Randy Orton popping the balloon of this crowd here tonight. The silence that has come over Minnesota. The momentum getting stung of Dijakovic in the scoop slam by the WWE Champion. Into the cover. No, Dijakovic survives again. Randy Orton's got to be frustrated right now. After everything Dijakovic's thrown at him in this matchup, he can't put him away. And now Dijakovic is trying to get back in, but there's a counter by the champion. Randy Orton, look at this. Eyes locked on Dijakovic and drops the knee. We'll be looking for it again. The WWE Champion looking to send a message to Rob Van Dam. Send a message to his former tag team partner, Matt Riddle, that this is what awaits you at Elimination Chamber and possibly WrestleMania. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. The RKO by Randy Orton. Nobody does it like the original. And the WWE Champion is victorious tonight. Message sent to any future challengers and especially the man he meets in less than two weeks in Anaheim, California. Rob Van Dam, I hope you're watching in the mind of the WWE Champion. Randy Orton with the win tonight on Raw. Wait a minute, come on, the match is over. And Randy Orton beating down on Dijakovic. He didn't appreciate the RKO, and he's trying to send a message to the Monday Night Raw locker room. Well, the WWE Champion picks up the win here tonight in Minnesota. But will that be the case when he locks horns with Rob Van Dam in less than two weeks in Anaheim at the Elimination Chamber when the WWE Championship is on the line? Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rider.